What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist and today I'm going to be giving you the pros and cons and mechanical differences between a axle mounted servo on an RC crawler and a chassis mounted servo on an RC crawler. For this comparison we're going to be using my Force RC Hammerjaw and my father's Element RC Gatekeeper. So without further ado let's get right into the visual and mechanical differences. Starting with the axle mounted servo, the uh, name suggests it all is the servo mounted directly to the axle. Now, it, that's basically all it is. The servo is mounted on top of the axle, usually the axle truss has a servo horn coming down and you have the whole steering assembly. Now, one thing about that is you do need to have a kind of a hole in the front of your chassis so that when your suspension articulates, the servo can move through that. Now, let's look at the chassis mounted servo. As you can see with the chassis mounted servo, again, it's exactly what it sounds like. The servo is mounted to the chassis itself as opposed to the axle. Now, with that, there is the steering link right here and it kind of goes vertically down into the steering itself. And so now, those are basically the mechanical differences between the chassis mounted servo and the axle mounted servo. So now let's get into the pros and cons of each. Starting with the axle mounted servo, the, the pros of the axle mounted servo is that during high suspension articulation, then the servo still stays in the one place and the steering is all still perfectly aligned. And that's the main benefit that a lot of comp guys will run a axle mounted servo. Another benefit is that since the servo is on the axle as opposed to up higher on the chassis, you do get a slightly lower center of gravity. Now, what's the con to this? Well, there's only, really only one, and it's the fact that a servo on top of your axle doesn't look all that scale. So that's one thing you have to consider um, for competition guys, and if you're just looking for sheer performance, it really doesn't matter. But it is something to consider it doesn't look as scale. Now let's look at the chassis mounted servo. Now, compared to the axle mounted servo, the chassis mounted servo um, has some much more uh, aesthetic appeal. First of all, there being no servo on your axle looks much more realistic as you know, real cars don't have a big box on top of their axles, so it looks much nicer. Uh, and then also with the steering links up high, and especially with the element having them behind the axle steering, not all of them have this, but even with just one bar, it looks fairly clean. Now, what is the con to this? Well, main thing is, is that during high articulation points, these joints right here are stressing. And because of that, your steering can be stressed and may not be able to work at its most optimal position during high articulation moments. Uh, the other downside is since it is on the chassis, it is a little bit higher, uh, which can cause a little bit of a difference in center of gravity, if uh, that matters to you. But those are the main differences between the two. So now looking at them side by side again, it's really up to you on what you want to have in your truck. Uh, for the more performance oriented guys, it's recommended that you go with an axle mounted servo. But for the guys that are really more in scale things like trail trucks, most trail trucks come with chassis mounted servos nowadays because it looks more scale and it's a bit more of a clean, aesthetically pleasing look. But it's all up to you. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something and uh, hopefully this video was helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below for what videos you'd like to see next. But that's all for today everybody and I'll see you in the next one.